everybody. We're back with the director of my new favorite trilogy, The Beatles Get Back, Peter Jackson. I, I, I want to um, give a shout out real quickly to your editor, mm. Jabez Olson, mm -hmm. because when I was there two years ago and I was lucky enough to come uh, to your, your place in New Zealand, you said, oh, do you want to watch this footage? And we went down to the basement. You're editing a yeah. theater there, your yeah. editing studio. Yeah. And you and Jabez and me sat mm -hmm. there for mm -hmm. eight hours over two days <laughs> where you showed me stuff. Yeah. And what I said to you was, yeah. how can you possibly take this 57 hours, mm -hmm. which I want to watch all of without yeah. any interruption? Just yeah. clean it up, clean up the sound, and I would l just happily stay here for a week and watch all of it. How do you get that into the actual into a movie and one of the things that I just want to say because I'm one of the few people who will know this that feeling of watching it in its raw state was so such a privilege to see and I feel that same privilege in the edited form that you've created here because you really do feel you're just another person in that studio but you're also watching a story at the same time and my question to you is, mm -hmm. how did you find that story? Because it mm -hmm. seems like it must have been like archaeology. Yeah. You didn't yeah. know what yeah. was on the footage. Yeah, it didn't even yeah. have proper time codes, many mm -hmm. of it. How did you, there's no storyboard, there's no script. No. How, what was that process like of finding the story? Well, what, what one option was that we thought about and quickly um, discarded was, okay, this, this unseen footage has, has come you know, from 50 years ago. Okay, well, to tell the story, we'll, talk to, we'll interview Ringo today. Paul today, Michael Lindsay Hogg today, Lynn Johns today, they can tell the story and then we'll cut the clips of the footage. That's the lazy way of doing it and, and it sort of puts, you, you get today and 50, and 50 years ago and it sort of you feel a gap. And I thought, well, I've always fantasised about getting in a time machine and going and sitting in the studio with the Beatles. This is what we've got to do. And the Beatles have got to tell us the story. They have, because look, when you, when you think about it, they have, they, they're, the four guys are there, they've got a plan, they start the work, the plan is, goes wrong. They're talking about the fact it's going wrong. They're, 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 their conversations tell you the story, which is actually makes it way more interesting and dramatic because, because they're having things uh, you know, going on. They have to come up with plans, and their discussions of how they do that is it's not scripted, and it's not an interview today of someone who remembers it. You're seeing it in real time, these four guys trying to work it out. And so the conversations tell you the story. So we didn't know what the conversations were, because as you say, there's no script. So we had to watch this stuff over and over again, listen, and we had to eavesdrop on their 50-year-old year discussions. And sometimes there's no film, there's, you know, there's tapes running, no film, and, and you're literally eavesdropping on, on what, this, what this conversation was. All, the, all those decades ago. Because the director, uh, uh, the director at the My, time Michael, literally yeah. hid microphones. Well, what, what's funny, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you the other funny thing that I, makes, makes me laugh, Stephen and I, is that the Beatles decide they're going to ask Michael Lindsay Hogg to come in, and for the first time in their career, they decide they're going to let the intimate fly on the wall footage of their process be shot. And almost immediately, they start to think, is this a good idea? Is this a good idea? <laughs> This is freaking us out. And at that point, it becomes a battle of wills. And, and actually, this is, this is a battle of wills. Michael starts to realise they're not... He wants... He, and look, good, good, Michael needs huge credit for this. Michael is determined to record every intimate conversation he can. And he's hiding mi microphones. He had... He, that, half the time, they don't know they're being filmed. Because Michael used to set these, the cameras up on tripods, 16mm cameras, 10-minute rolls, you know, and the cameramen are there. And, they, 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 and then they put some tape over the red light, so because when the camera goes on, a little red light, tape over the red light so the Beatles wouldn't see it. And the cameraman would suddenly hit the button and then wander off to the cup of tea table and have a cup of tea. So the Beatles would look up, the camera's just sitting there by itself. I mean, OK, well, they're, they're there, but, but the camera's not rolling, so we're, we're OK. My, they did all sorts of tricks to trick the Beatles into thinking they weren't being filmed. And then the Beatles start to counter that. So, you, so they realised their microphones, they, George and John start cranking up, if, if, they, if they want to have a conversation and they don't want Michael to record it, they crank up their amp, they strum guitars, they do everything. So you've got this battle of wills. I mean, for some reason, the Beatles who are paying for this don't think to say to Michael, oh, could you stop recording? And, and, and they don't actually think about that. They, 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 this battle of, of, of wills actually just erupts. And, and they actually succeeded, the Beatles, because they're having conversations and their guitars are drowning it out. And so what we did here, down here in New Zealand 50 years later, we developed technology with computers and AI that we taught a computer what a guitar sounds like. And then we said to, to the computer, you know what a guitar sounds like. Have a listen to this and get rid of the guitar, please. We don't want to hear the guitar. We just want to hear the discussions. It, it, it's crazy science fiction stuff, 
but it works. So we actually stripped away all this, all the stuff that the Beatles had done, and after 50 years, their tricks, no, boys, we, we, we hear it all. We hear it all. So we're listening to stuff that they, that no one's actually heard because, it, because it, did, it did get swamped out. But you see, that's so good for us because it is this, it's the, still the story. Their conversations are still till the story. So we got access to all, the, all, this, all this discussion that, that is so raw and potent and honest and real and just that they, they at the time didn't want anyone to hear. So yeah, it's, it's been fun. Peter, thank you for being here and thank you for making this three-part documentary movie uh, about the Get Back Sessions. It is an, an, a beautiful love story. Uh, yeah. It is exhilarating, it's illuminating, it's heartbreaking many times, and um, it really does feel like a privilege to be yeah. let into this world. Yeah. And oh, I um, I'm so glad uh, that you were the archaeologist to take us through it, because it's a really beautiful story. Thanks again to Peter Jackson. The Beatles' Get Back is available now on Disney+. We'll be right back with a performance by Chelsea Cutler.